guys it's your girl Jess back with another video and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the lit side and if you already subscribed to my channel thank you guys so much I really appreciate you guys you guys are awesome um today I'm doing something a little different something a little a little a little fresh to you guys on my channel okay because I know some of you guys either want um ball jobs um most of you teenagers, most of you guys in high school want like a job at the mall, you know, something on the side, you know, so you can make money or you might be a college student or anyone trying to get a mall job. So I am just going to show you from my experience working retail and working in the mall, um, the types of co-workers that I come across. Okay, some are good, some are bad, and some or whatever. So yeah, <laughs> let's get into this video. So first type of co-worker is the one who thinks they're a manager. They constantly complain about the littlest things, about the littlest things for no reason. They take their job way too seriously and it's just ridiculous. I experience this type of co-worker at almost every job. Oftentimes this person doesn't know how to give advice either. Um, when they give advice or try to help like a new employee, it comes off a little harsh because of the way they are, okay? so. So this is a person who was almost a manager, wants to be a manager so bad, most likely why they're not is because they either don't have enough experience, um, have a bad attitude, or went through the training and failed miserably. So yeah, that's usually what's the case between those three because, you know, they're just always so serious and they get on your nerves. So the one who thinks they're the manager is usually like the freaking, like the freaking hall monitor. Duty for duty, ma'am. I'm ready to assume my position in the hall. I will protect all that are weak in the hall. All rules will be enforced in the hall. Okay. Like an administrator. They act like an administrator for no reason. Like, dude, we work at the same place and we make the same, like, well, no, we don't. Not in my job. We don't get paid the same. But it's like, dude, we do the same stuff. And then they try to, if you make a tiny mistake or if you slack off a little bit, they like blow out of proportion and like belittle you about it. And it's just like, yo, calm down. At the end of the day, we're at the same level. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, I was just checking my phone to see what time it is. No, don't do that. Because if a manager sees you, like they're just. I wasn't texting. I just took it out to see what time it is and put okay, it back. Still, in my a manager pocket. is gonna tell him you like don't do that. Oh, okay. Don't let okay. Do that. Out of my face! Out of my face! Out of my face! Okay. Now the next one is the call out. This is the one who is always sick, who always needs someone to cover their shift, who always can't come to work for some reason. And the one who usually calls out is usually the one saying that they're sick or something like that or saying that they're too tired or they had a long night or whatever and that's why they don't come in the next morning. But then you see them um, the next day or the next morning or whatever, but then you see them on Snapchat and you just like... Yeah, I got you. I got you on camera. You on Kansas camera now. You ain't know that. Um, one girl I worked with, she'd call off like almost every Saturday just because she had a pass to Disney. She wanted to go to Disney every Saturday. Like, go, you're 18. You're 18. You're not seven or six, okay? And if you have an annual pass to Disney, you can go any time of the week. Why would you want to go Saturday when it's going to be f flooded with tourists and a lot of people? I don't understand that. Like... And you have a job. You're here to make money. Like, at the end of the day, like, if you don't want to work on Saturdays, close your availability or just, I don't know, just don't work here. Like, what are you doing? Like, she used to make me so mad. And I used to be like, I'm not taking your shift so you can go to Disney, bro. Like, I'm not doing it. Because at the end of the day, I rarely give away my shifts and stuff and I just go into work. So that makes me mad. Like, I can't stand that. The lazy one. Now... Understanding that mall jobs, it gets slow around certain times. So when it gets slow, I understand you slack a little bit. You may not be like rushing to do stuff and keep going, you know. But I understand because I do that too. Like when my store is slow and there's really not much I can do, 
I like pretend I'm doing stuff that's black off a little bit. But this is the one, even when the store is freaking busy, they don't want to do anything and are constantly complaining. Like, not only that, like they just don't want to help. They don't want to help. Like, you can tell them, hey, you tell them, hey, can you help me on the register? Cause this line is like almost out of the store, you know? And they'll just be like, okay, I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like being on register. I don't feel like being in the fitting room. I don't feel like helping customers on the floor. I don't feel like doing this. In that case, if you didn't feel like it, why take the job, bro? Like why take the job? You don't have to do it. Nobody forced you to be here. If you don't like your job so much, just simply don't do it. Cause I know, I cannot work at a place that I truly hate. Y'all saw I pieced out of Victoria's Secret. Y'all saw I pieced out of Hollister. I didn't hate Hollister. I just hated. Um, I'm not gonna say I hated. I strongly disliked certain people that worked there, and they were just making my life harder than it needed to be, and that's why I left. But yeah, like, I cannot with the lazy people, cause it's just like, yo, if we're busy and we have stuff to do, I need you to help me. We're all one team. We need to be together and make this thing, make this thing work. Hey, um, we have like two racks from the fitting room. Can you run that stuff to the floor for me, please? Sure, let me just look at this rack. Really? So you telling me out of those two full racks of clothes, that's all you bring? What? That's all you bring in? For real? For real? Girl, if you don't get... One is the winer. The winer is usually a combin the winer is usually a combination of the lazy one and the one who takes himself too seriously. And it could be other coworkers too. The winer is always like, oh, it's so slow. Like I hate when it's dead. I'm so bored. And then there's a flood of customers that come through. Oh my gosh, it's too busy. I hate when it's busy. And they're like, and then they have to do certain things and they just always complain and whine about it and I hate people who do that just complain and whine about everything when you don't even realize how good you have it like bro shut up if you again if you don't like your job if you truly hate your job just be quiet but if you're whining just to whine like that gets really annoying really fast like no don't don't do that. Don't just be whining and complaining just to whine and complain. Like you, if you like your job, calm down, chill, assess the facts, if you want to be there or not, you know, it's all up to you. Like everyone complains about their job sometimes. I understand. Like there's some, there's some things that just make, you know, your job, you know, complicated for you. But when you whine about the simplest little of things, it's just ridiculous. Next one is your work best friend. Um, work best friend is fun because you guys are always on the same page, always on the same level. You guys always have a good time at work. Even when it's busy or slow, like y'all always having a good time. Cause you know, you know, you guys just click. You guys click with each other's personalities. You guys always have fun, joke around, laugh, and it's just cool. Uh, my work best friend, unfortunately, she moved to California. So now I have to find a new work best friend. Um, yeah, but yeah, work best friend is really fun, bro. Work best friend usually turns into friend. But yeah, um, if she's watching, I'm going to visit you sometime this year. She knows I will. But yeah, work best friend is the best, okay? The new one. Now, this one requires a lot of patience for the new one you just have to be patient with them because some people learn really fast some people learn really slow but if it's taken them a whole two months to learn basic store things like how to bring a customer up and all that stuff and how to help customers how to point them in the right direction what they should do if it takes them a whole couple of months to learn don't know if they need to be on that job. The new one is obviously looks new because they, you know, see you and they introduce themselves, tell you their names most of the time, or they're usually with someone training or whatever. But either way, I take it upon myself. Well, you should take it upon yourself to introduce yourself because you're going to be working with that person and you should know them because you don't know if you're ever going to need them or they're ever going to need you. And, you know, 
in the store. You guys gotta work together and you know, be cool. The one who's always doing something, like the store can literally have two people in it and this person is sitting there like making whole projects out of nothing because they are bored and have nothing to do, you know, like the busy one, they're always running around being hectic, like they just give you anxiety because they're doing too much for no reason, you know? They're always busy and it makes no sense because you're just looking at them like there's literally nothing to do here. What could you possibly be doing right now, you know? And um, the busy one, it can be tricky, okay? Because some employ some co-workers will, will fake like they're busy. Like I know I do sometimes, like all of us will be in a group, like it'll be like three, two, three of us in a little group talking or whatever and then you hear the manager walk down <laughs> and then you just be like oh yeah yeah i'm sorting through this oh shoot yeah i can like you're busy i do that so much but it's like our storage truly is slow sometimes um summertime lately it's been crazy but like when it's slow like i'm not going to like what am i going to do you know like there's nothing to do out here i'm gonna i'm gonna talk and chill and you know help customers but if there's nobody in the store what, what do you expect me to do you know i'm not gonna fake busy like but the busy one is usually the one who thinks they're a manager as well but also trying to avoid being asked to take on other tasks so they make up their own entirely new different task on their own which is understandable i mean do you i have no problem with that the next one is the one who's always in everybody's business, the gossiper, the ish talker, they're always in somebody's business. This person knows more about your employee, your coworker's business than they even do. They probably know more about your business than you even do. And you have to be careful on what you say to this person and like, like following them on social media. Like, the most you can do is follow them on Instagram. I wouldn't follow them on Snapchat so they know what you're doing every hour, every 30 minutes or whatever. Or on Twitter, because you have to watch what you tweet. Like, they will tell all your business. They will spill the beans with no hesitation and will tell you everybody's business. But um, it's good to be cool with this person because if you're cool with them, they won't talk about you one. Two, they will tell you like as far as the gossip, what's going on with the store, not like the the your coworker's personal life, but like, oh, we're getting um, we're getting investigated next week. Um, store managers, district managers coming next week to see the store or something like that. Like they know all that stuff that's going down in your store ahead of time. So be cool with that person just so you know and you're not caught off guard, you know. But don't tell them anything personal because you will regret the one who talks way too much um yeah the one who talks way too much can really irritate you especially if you're not in a good mood that day they're the one who's so happy always social and always in a good mood and always want to talk this one just needs to usually shut up and just be quiet because they, they are always wanting to talk even when you have like a long line of people and a long you know a lot of stuff on your plate they still want to talk you just like oh i have to but i gotta you know and they're still trying to talk to you and you're just like yo i have to go do you know what i'm here to do you're sitting here trying to talk and stuff like i that's great but i gotta go like they don't know when to stop talking they're usually really nice and friendly but they just don't know when to stop they're just too social too social and they usually, like, me when I work morning shifts, everybody knows I am not a morning person at all. So when I'm there in the morning, I'm not giving anybody bad attitudes. But I'm just to myself because I'm just, like, not, I'm not awake yet. I'm not in the mood. And then the talkative one is always usually the one there in the mornings and all times of the day. And they're just talking to you and talking to you and talking to you. And you're just like, mm -hmm, yeah, okay, cool. And I'm tired of stuff. I really don't want to hear your voice like that. Like, I really don't want to hear you just talking my ear off while I'm just trying to do my work and leave. Like, morning shifts, I just want to come and go. Like, I'm not trying to stay here and have a social hour with you. Okay. And next you have the kiss ass. This is the one that is always in the boss's face. Always trying to get their approval. Always trying to, you know, 
I guess in hopes of getting a raise or becoming a manager. Again, this is the usually the one that takes himself too serious. And um can be the lazy one at times too. I've seen it happen. Yeah. Like they're always in the boss's face. They'll come to the job with donuts and coffee just for the boss. And it's just like, dude, like, where do you think you work? What do you think you're doing? Do you think they care? You're just, like, honestly, it's almost like bribery. But, like, I seen one coworker that I had, like, he'd do all this stuff for the boss because there was, like, a full-time position open and he wanted that position. And he was doing all this stuff for the boss and just kissing her butt all week. And he didn't get it. And he was pissed off. And look, he's still doing it. All he did was make her accustomed to him being really nice and over the top for her. I'm not gonna have my boss saying I'm gonna come and bring her like red lobster and stuff and bring her donuts and coffee and stuff like that. What am I, her husband? No, I'm not doing that. But um, I will do anything she needs me to do though as far as the store, but outside of work, who are you? This one is the one that you always argue with. This is like, I don't know what to call them, but it's the one that you always argue with. Like, you two just don't see eye to eye. You guys are on two different playing fields. And for some reason, you guys are always freaking arguing because they always, you know, either have something to say about what you're doing or doing something that you feel is not right or, you know, vice versa. Um, I have that too. And it's one of, I used to have that too. And it used to be one of my managers. I would hard down argue with my manager. Like, what you're doing doesn't make sense. I don't feel like you're a team player, blah, blah, blah. I used to go off. Like, <laughs> when I tell you guys I had some like anger issues, I feel like I did. Um, we used to be going at it with each other and like, it got so bad to the point where like, we had to have um, one of our ma managers talk to us and just talk to me and see like what's wrong with me and then she talked to him and see what's wrong with him and see how we can reconcile and everything. Bottom line, there was no reconciliation, but um, I'm gone, so it doesn't matter anymore. But yeah, you guys, this person, you guys are technically always arguing over some stuff. Okay, the next one is the flirt. The flirt on the job is usually the one that messes with every girl on the job. They mess with literally every girl on the job. Like they run through the whole crew. And you know it doesn't make sense? All of them know they have hopped on the same thing. I'm, I'm gonna keep it PG. They all know that they hopped on the same thing and will still just walk past each other like it's nothing. I'm just like, what the heck? And then when you like reject the person, they look at you like, what's wrong with you? Um, um, I respect and love myself and I wouldn't stoop to that level to be on the same thing all of you guys were on. Just saying. The flirt will like, you'll come to work looking busted as heck like I did earlier today, as you can see. And they'll just be like, ooh, I like your butt in those pants. Ooh, you look good today. Ooh, you looking all cute. Who you looking cute for? What you doing without me? Yeah, they're usually the fuck boy too. So, and they'll be doing all that, and you just have to ignore those signs. They're usually with every single girl on the job. Promise me. So, if you if you feel like you're interested in somebody at your job, ask around. Because, you know, ask and you shall receive, okay? You will know. You will know who it is, okay? Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, those are the type of coworkers that I have experienced in my time. In my little three years of working in retail, um, yeah, comment down below. Let me know if you experience any type of people like this. Um, let me know if you guys want any more of any more videos like this as well, because I don't know what you guys want to see. I'm just putting out some stuff for you guys. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys sometime this week. Peace out, my love. Stay positive. Oh. Whenever the sun don't shine on the west side You know I'm sitting right here uh, by your side Baby, I'm down for you I'm down for you, shit Baby, I'm down for you I'm down for you Whenever the sun don't shine